The Bureau conducts science and engineering to inform decisions that help the broad public. Started in 1909, we've grown from a $10 million organization to a $40 million organization, from less than 100 people to 230 people in just over a decade. And some world-class people come here. We have permanent staff from over 25 different nations here. We have scientists, we have engineers, we have folks that look at economics. And we also have huge experiments going on out in the field. We work all over the world. The BEG has always been involved in the education mission of the University of Texas, which is the largest state-supported university in the United States. It's diverse in terms of its science, it's diverse in culture. We bring this miasm of ideas and approaches to different scientific problems. The Bureau does a wide variety of research in many different areas, from greenhouse gases to water research, carbon sequestration, coastal research, reservoir characterization, oil and gas exploration, nanotechnology, and then the, the energy economics that tie all of it together. Energy is critical to a healthy economy. Economy is critical to invest in the environment. And the Bureau works in all three of those spaces. And everybody benefits from that. And that's critical to address the big challenges that we're facing in the world today. We are the State of Texas Geological Survey. Part of our mission is to educate the next generation of Texans about their surroundings, about their environment, about their energy, and really begin to address some of the key scientific problems of the day. If you had to pick something that's hot at the moment, you would say it's getting oil and gas out of shale. That represents a very different kind of target than industry has been pursuing for a hundred years. And with it come a whole new set of questions which fuel a lot of our current research. One is, how much resource is there out there? And is this a flash in the pan, or is this something that'll be with us uh, and that we can count on for several decades? The Carbon Sequestration Group is the largest in the world. We've been able to demonstrate deep storage of CO2 better than any university in the U.S. by far, probably better than any university in the world. What we really are focusing on is, is understanding how energy systems and how environmental systems are going to evolve with time so that we can essentially get over the hurdle without really affecting the economy or people. What are the engineering challenges of finding new energy and extracting it and doing it in an environmentally sensible and sustainable way? Those problems are not simple. We try to reduce them to a form that can matter technically, but also have an impact when it comes to policy makers and decision makers and regulators making decisions about how to manage those things for the broader public. Working as a graduate student at the Bureau of Economic Geology is very different than working in other organizations. While we have ties to academic funding and academic projects, we have very deep and very strong ties to both the energy and the environmental industries. That means that you get an opportunity to approach problems through a very applied approach, working with cutting edge computing and analysis facilities, at the same time getting an opportunity to interact almost on a daily basis with thousands of industry individuals over the course of a year. For a scientific organization, talent is your currency. The Bureau's been really excellent about pulling in new talent because of the synergy and the diversity of the organization. As long as we can continue to attract really talented people, I can see us continuing to grow. You know, we've earned a reputation in that hundred year time frame, in that century, for quality. We do not plan to lose it, and we'll take care of that with slow, steady growth and relevance and talented people.